Hey, Nubathwa, what's going on in the real estate market for October 2023? We're going to go over sales, active listings, the MOI, which is month of inventory. What does that mean? What does it mean to you when you're buying or selling a home? We'll go over that. What the average selling price has been and the DOM, the days on the market. All this data does come from MLS for single residential detached homes. I'm Stephen Olonek, Remax Performance Realty Winnipeg. And uh, all of this information it compiled is put into my own opinion and does not uh, relate the opinion of Remax Performance Realty Winnipeg pig or remax in a hole so if you have any real estate related questions don't hesitate to reach out to us we love having a conversation about it and let's get into it showing three sales in october which is nice to see when we had a goose egg in september 16 active listings on the market majority of them being new builds and giving you 5.3 MOI, which that means there's 5.3 months of inventory. Zero to four months is a seller's market. Four to six months is a balanced market. So showing in a balanced market right now. And uh, if you actually averaged it out, you could almost say you're over the into more of a buyer's market in the area. But again, we'll get into the point that most of the homes are new built. Now they can throw new bills can throw off the skew of uh, of what the months of inventory is because a lot of time new bills they'll use one as a spec home to sell other homes and new bills can take a little longer to sell so resale homes not in a uh, a balanced market or a um, or into a buyer's market they're more along the line upper ends of a seller's market lower ends of a balanced market so reach out to us with any questions if someone's looking to buy or sell we that's why we pull about nine months worth of data to up to a year on a particular type of house so you know how long it's going to take is it a buyer's maker is it a seller's market is it a balanced market what will the home sell for so you know what you should pay for it you should know what you should expect to get for it. dom days on market will also go over how long it should take for that property to sell how long you should expect your home to be on the market all of that information if your home's on the market too long there's only three reasons a home doesn't sell one not marketed properly two not price right or three there's something wrong with the home or a combination of all of them but those are the only three reasons a home doesn't sell so what real estate related questions do you have reach out to us let's have a conversation if you like our content like us on facebook subscribe to our youtube channel follow us on instagram uh, give us a google review google reviews help us help other people we're so thankful for those we want to help you we want to help you buy or sell your next home that's all we want to do that's what we're here for Reach out with any real estate related questions. Tune in next month for our next monthly marketing report. Have a great day, everyone.